Hey everyone, I'm Lucy and you're watching the Edit With Me Monday show. Today I'm talking all about how you can use the transform tool in Lightroom to just shift the perspective in your photos or get really clean, crisp lines. Now this tool looks great on architecture, buildings, any things with hard lines in them. So I'm gonna head out to Toronto Island, get some really nice shots, some nice cityscapes of Toronto, and then we're gonna head back here and edit those up in Lightroom. Let's go. That was fun, we got our photos. Let's jump in to Lightroom. So we're here in Lightroom. You can find the transform panel just on the right hand side there. We'll click to expand that. So you can see we have some clickable options and then we have some sliders. So this is actually gonna be where you can shift the real perspective of your photo. Let's just click auto and see what happens. And that's not necessarily great. That's really not what we want. It didn't do a great job. Usually auto doesn't. So we're gonna undo that. You're gonna use level when you have a clear horizontal line like a sunset shot or something. It'll work well for you. Let's try vertical now. The vertical option is going to attempt to make all of the vertical lines in your shot straight. Sometimes it goes a little too far. This is sort of the effect we want, but it's not quite right. So again, I'm gonna undo that. The full option does some really weird things. So see how this is taken on an angle? If we click full, it, it basically tries to make those two, it, like change it like I was in a different position. It's, it's weird and it almost never works. So kind of again, avoid that. So for some reason, I just told you all the things to avoid in this panel. Let's talk about what actually is useful for you. So we're gonna go into guided. And why I like guided is that you actually have control over what you're changing. So go ahead, click guided there, and you're gonna get this new cursor. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna click and hold and then drag that line. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the line that's not straight, we want it to be, and just totally match it up. Now you need to do this at two points to give Lightroom enough data. So we're gonna do that over here as well. Click and drag and try to line it up as best you can. And there we go. So you can see what it did. Very close to that vertical option, but a bit better, I would say. It just made those two lines completely straight. So if I did it before, see how those buildings are leaning back after now they are totally straight. Now this might not quite be the effect that you want. And also it kind of looks like now this is stretched too much vertically. So we can go into this transform element and fix that. So this aspect slider here, this way it's gonna stretch it vertically, this way it's gonna stretch it horizontally. So for this image, after I did that, I want it to be stretched horizontally because I think that's gonna bring a back a bit of naturalness to the photo. And there we go. Now the other thing here is you notice we have these huge white awkward things after we did that uh, guided crop. And that's because Lightroom actually had to like use those elements of the photo, squish it in. So when you're taking your photos, a lot of people don't mention this and you know you're gonna use transform, use a wider angle lens or go further back so that you have a lot of extra space the top, the edges, and the bottom to actually perform this. Because now, when I uh, wanna scale this up, I have to zoom it in a lot, and basically, I lost all the elements of the photo that actually made it really cool, right? So before, this photo looked great because we have this building, these two, we have the sky, we have the trees, and that's really, really nice. But if you want to have those straight edges, you need to plan for that, because once I do that, Basically, once I crop, this is the best I can do. And honestly, I don't think that that looks as good. So, you know, you have to really plan what you're gonna do. So now let's go to another photo. And on this photo, I actually planned how I want the crop to work, knowing that I'm gonna do the transform on it. And this will give you a better idea of how you can use it. So here we have this uh, cityscape shot of Toronto uh, from a distance, and I actually really shot it with, we have lots of extra room down in the water here and in the sky. So this is gonna give us a bit more leeway when we're using this tool. So let's go over to Guided, because we kind of decided we don't like those other ones. So Guided, and we're gonna make our two points. So this building here, 
you can see is laying a bit backwards. This building here is also laying back. So make those points straight as you can. Boom, that is looking really good. So again, before they're going backwards, after we can see them. And we do have those, those white spots on the end, so we are gonna have to go in and crop that. So pick crop. But look at, we're losing nowhere near as much in that other photo. And that was because I pre-planned knowing that this is gonna take some cropping. I'm gonna have to go in. So I pre-planned on this photo to have enough space at the bottom and the sides and the top to do that. This is really, really important, guys. So again, before, they're laying back there. After, nice and straight, looking really good. So let's talk a bit more about the sliders in the transform panel. So vertical is either we're gonna make it look like it is laying back more or coming forward. So neither of those are like that great, but I might do it a bit more like a straight dead on look, or you can have it laying back. That sometimes makes things look like it is bigger and grander than it is. So I'll just do that maybe back like that. Horizontal is really good. If you just have a horizon line that is slightly off, you can use this to fix that up. So here, this is actually pretty good, but it is slightly off. So see, we can sort of shift the perspective of that horizontal line one way or the other. Now in this photo, I'm gonna shift it a little bit this way and very, very little bit. It actually did really help. Rotate, you know the drill on that. Rotate your photo around. And then the aspect again is making it tall and skinny or are we making it short and wide? A little bit I find helps a lot, especially when you've used that guided to make everything look straight and tall. Sometimes just bringing it down a little bit, making it a little wider again, gives it a bit more of a realistic look. Scale, obvious again, you can just scale in, scale out. You can also achieve that same look with the crop tool up here. And then the offset is we're just moving our photo around. So really in this panel, what you really need to be worrying about is the aspect, rotate, horizontal, and vertical. That's what you're gonna need to change around to give your photo just whatever look you're going for. So you could be going for that really big expansive look and you wanna tilt the CN Tower way back and have it look like you're looking up at it. That could be the look you want. Or maybe you just want that classic straight on look. That's what I'm going for here. So here's a side by side of the before and after. Here you can really see how tilted and laying back that building is. Here you can see how nice and straight and level everything is about it, which looks great. All right, so that's how you use the transform tool in Lightroom. See, it's actually super easy and simple. If you like these super easy and simple tutorials, subscribe to my channel for more. Also, check the playlist link in the description for more beginner Lightroom tutorials. All right, guys, until next week, peace.